What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we got a special video as this has been requested in my past content. This is my tech everyday carry but to make it a little bit more interesting this is a budget edition. Now budget doesn't mean cheap equipment it's just in the lower end of some more expensive equipment in the category. I really like this content and I also think creating a budget version uh, is very useful for people who are beginning their content creation journey. But anyways let's get straight into it. Alright so first thing I want to start out with my bag. This item right here is by far the most important um, part of my content creation. If I'm ever going out to shoot like a video or do photography or really anything with creating content, this bag will always be with me. The brand is Tarion or Tarion, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Bought it off Amazon and I will leave a link to this item down below in the description as well as all of my other camera equipment or content creation equipment in general. The bag has so much room and is such good quality for a very good price. It comes with Velcro spacers to allow for neat organization and helps make room for all of your items. Alright, now let's discuss the items inside this bag. To start this off, I wanted to do the miscellaneous items, which are my microfiber cleaning cloths. Two pieces of equipment that I also keep that, uh, that go along with my lenses. Um, are in these two packages. This first item is a variable ND filter. This variable ND filter came from KNF Concept. They're a very good company and I trust them personally, so I would absolutely recommend them. Along with my variable ND filter, I have what is called a step up ring. Um, I don't really use this much, so I'm not gonna go in depth of what it is. You'll probably never actually need to know what it is unless you need one, but this is something I use, like I said, very few times, but sometimes it is helpful. Hey everyone, I wanted to hop in here and give a quick shout out to Fafan. They recently sent out their AM8 streaming microphone. I'm going to show just a quick unboxing as I express my appreciation. This microphone will also be included in a future setup video I already have planned which I'll then go into much more detail, but for now I'll have the link to this very cool looking microphone down below in the description. And if you're wondering how good it sounds, well you've been listening to it this whole voiceover. I hope that you all enjoyed the rest of the video and peace. Now as we move past the lens accessories, let's get straight into the actual lenses, which I know a lot of people will be very interested in. This right here is my main lens. This is the 30 millimeter from Sigma. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, like I said, this has been my go-to lens for photography. It's really good. Again, this item is from Sigma and I will have it down below in the description uh, along with all of my other equipment. I'll also go ahead and say I'm not like a camera YouTube channel or a review channel um, so if you're interested in learning in the more specific details uh, for all of the equipment that I'm going to go over I would recommend looking somewhere else. Unfortunately I'm just not the channel to learn that stuff from. I'm really just trying to give you an idea of what equipment to look at. I'm also going to show a lot of these shots that were filmed with this lens, with the camera, with all the different equipment. You'll see a bunch of different shots to really show you examples of of what this camera and lens can achieve. Next up, we have the kit lens. Right now, I can't show it to you in hand because it is on my camera that I'm recording on, um, but of course, I did go ahead and take some clips of it. The lens that is currently on the camera that I can't show you right now, this is the kit lens that came along with my camera. It is a 16 to 50 millimeter lens. A lot of my content was recorded specifically on the kit lens. Again, this will also be linked down in the description um, along with the camera. I'm not gonna separate them. If you're going to get this camera, you might as well go ahead and get the kit lens with it. To me, it's really a waste to not get the kit lens. Next up, and I know probably the part you are most interested in, is the camera. The camera that I use for all of my content is the Sony ZV-E10. I've had this camera for about two years now, and without a doubt, it is a phenomenal beginner camera. I've used this camera for a variety of different things like photography, sports video, sports photography, also just regular content creation. Even trying to make some cinematic shots like I can show up on the screen now. Matthew 634 says, therefore do not worry about tomorrow. I absolutely recommend this camera for anyone beginning in photography, videography, and content creation. Again, it is still pretty expensive, um, but once you start to understand cameras, you really don't want to pay any less than what this camera is, and you're absolutely getting your money's worth with this camera. Now, even though I know that was a very important part for most of y'all, I still have a lot more to go over. The next part is my microphone. Now, of course, the microphone that I'm using right now, I cannot show to you, um, but it is the Rode Video Micro, a shotgun mic, so you basically place it on top of the camera. Of course, I have nothing on me, and it's not wired or anything. It just sits on top of the camera. Um, but it picks up really good sound and again this mic is very cheap very good if you're on a budget um, I've used it at my sporting events. I've used it at other videos used it at my cinematic shots And of course used it in all of my YouTube videos So the sound is really good and of course if you need to hear it 
you're hearing it right now. Now again, you're gonna get your money's worth if you go purchase a wireless mic, uh, if you are familiar with those. Yes, I'm not saying those are not great options if you wanna make a bigger investment, but of course, as this is a budget video, I absolutely want to promote the Rode Video Micro. The next product that I wanna go over is actually on the bottom of my camera bag. Another feature about this bag that I love is this. There's buckles on the bottom of the bag that allow me to carry my tripod without actually having to hold it, so this has become very convenient. I'm not really sure what the tripod is that I use, so I'm really not gonna spend too much time time on it. I think I got this off Amazon maybe. You can find any tripod just like this one on Amazon. If you want a good quality tripod, I would recommend the KNF. I'm not exactly sure what the name of that tripod is, but KNF Concept again has really good equipment. And I know that their tripod is recommended by many people, but it is a little bit higher on the price. But this one was like $20 I think, but of course you get what you pay for. So again, I'm not going to spend too much time with it. Last but not least for my bag is actually in this pocket right here. As you can probably already tell, uh, this pocket holds things like iPads and laptops. I personally put my iPad in there. Um, I just recently got this iPad. My wonderful girlfriend bought this for my birthday. It's coming very handy for my content creation as well as my business. If you don't already know, on a clothing brand. And real quick, I just want to say, if you haven't checked out my clothing brand already, make sure to go check it out. It'll be linked down below. Whether it's for my brand or for YouTube or any of my content creation needs, uh, this is coming very handy. I added a ton of pictures on the daily. I make my thumbs nails and I also respond to all my emails and stuff using this uh, iPad. Now again, I know this is obviously on the more expensive side, but it's just something very necessary that I carry around in my bag. Of course, not a beginner item, but if you're looking for something to really boost your workflow, I really recommend having either a laptop or an iPad. Hey everyone, it's Mason. I know this is a completely different scenery than what's been in the rest of the video. Um, I actually just got finished up editing the video, well, almost finished editing, and I realized that my outro did not save properly. Uh, so now I'm basically re-recording the outro, but I hope that y'all did enjoy the video and got kind of an idea of what products to look over when you're deciding on your best, you know, beginner content creation equipment. Again, I'm not a review channel and I didn't go in all of the details, but I really think there's a lot to learn. Again, I'm going to try to put all the links down below. If I forget to put a link to something, just feel free to let me know in the comments. I don't mind replying in the comments and letting you know. Also, for any other questions that y'all have, leave them in the comments. I love replying to your comments. Appreciate all of y'all's support. Y'all have done phenomenal and I never expected to have a YouTube channel doing the numbers that I am doing currently but I hope that y'all did enjoy this video and if you did make sure to drop a like also let me know down below what you would like to see next peace